Hey leather enthusiasts, welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about leather and sex and how they connect or relate together. So this is another analogy I would like to use to give you a concept of leather, leather finishes, the experience of leather and how big brands ruin it for us. Let's start with getting into condoms. We all know them. It's a very common practice in sex protection. Like all good solutions, they come with a downside. They reduce the sensory experience of the whole activity. That's why it becomes undesirable at most times. People try to avoid it. I'm not gonna talk about the sex part of it, but I'm gonna talk about how this relates to the practice of big brands doing to leather. Just like this plastic reducing the overall sensory experience, the big brands take the leather, they cover it up with a thick layer of plastic, a huge makeup, to standardize it. Because otherwise, leather is a wild and unpredictable material. But that's the whole point. That's what gives us the satisfactory senses when we interact with that natural leather. But when you're a big brand, you have thousands and millions of customers, you don't have that much leather that you can finish respectfully. There's a lot of imperfections that you, you start thinking about how I can correct them, how I can standardize them. And the big, thick layer of plastic, the makeup, heavy finishes, is your answer. And that's what they do. They take the whole feeling out, out of this beautiful material, and then they turn back at you. They say, oh yeah, baby, that's great experience. Well, let me tell you, they're faking it. And now you're looking at their fancy name, fancy stores, and hefty price tags, and you're confused. You don't know what to talk, what to think. It's not your fault. Again, they take the soul out of this whole entire holy material, and they try to cheat you with some illusory marketing fluff. Well, don't buy it. Take my advice and go wild when you're choosing shopping leather goods. That's why there's nothing to fear here. There's nothing to be protected from. So you don't need that plastic layer of condoms of big brands. In leather brand shopping, going big is wrong. Go small, go small brands, small craftsmen. These are the people who go around the world to find these wildest, naturalist leathers and make stuff out of it and deliver it to you at a great price and you save money by doing this too anyways. So do yourself a favor, shop small leather goods, go wild for the full ride with full experience. No protection, no plastic, no layers necessary. Just go full in, save your money, look like a million bucks with one of a kind unique leather crafts as you find them in the small leather goods market. Hopefully this will make you a better leather shopper, better leather experiencer, and saves you hundreds and thousands of dollars in your future leather shopping. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you'll get notified every time I post new content. Thank you.